Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating a difference amplifier using LM741 and we will simulate this particular difference amplifier using LT Spice tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Now, let us start working on this particular simulation. So, click on component and from the select component symbol search for lm741 click on lm741 and place this particular lm741 on the schematic window now place an another lm741 on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial next we have to place the resistor component so click on resistor and place the resistor r1 as shown in this particular tutorial and place the resistor r2 as shown in this particular tutorial also place the resistor r3 and the r4 as shown in this particular tutorial now click escape now click on ground and place the ground symbol across the resistor R4 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to draw the wire as well as we have to place the resistor for the second part of the circuit. So before that we have to place a voltage source. So from the select component symbol place this particular voltage source v1 and v2 and place another voltage source v3 as shown in this particular tutorial so we will have four voltage source as shown in this tutorial now click on ground and place the ground connection across all the voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial Now right click on the voltage source V4 and rename this to VCC. Similarly right click on voltage source V3 and rename this to VEE. Now click on wire, extend the wire across the voltage source VCC. Similarly extend the wire across the voltage source VEE. Similarly extend the wire across the voltage source V1 and extend the wire across the voltage source v2 now we have to name this particular wire before that let us complete this particular circuit so extend the wire across the resistor r1 and extend the wire across the resistor r2 now uh, click on the wire and connect the wire from resistor r1 to the negative terminal of LM741 and the resistor R3 to the negative terminal of the LM741. Now extend the wire of resistor R2, connect the wire from resistor R2 to the positive terminal of LM741 and from resistor R4 to the positive terminal of LM741 and the other end of resistor to the ground. Now click on label net and type the label net as V1 and place across the resistor R1 and also place across the voltage source V1. Similarly click on label net, place the label net V2 across the resistor R2 and place the label net across the voltage source v2 now right click on voltage source v1 define uh, we have to define the dc value so right click on voltage source vcc define the dc value as 9 volt and the vee as minus 9 volt now click on wire and extend the wire 
across the LM741 and we have to label this particular wire as VCC and VEE and place this accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now place the resistor R5 uh, across the LM741 across the two LM741 and uh, now let us move this particular uh, LM741 and place a little bit bottom so that we can place the resistor R6 uh, in the circuit and uh, also let us place the resistor R4 in the circuit. Now click on ground and place the ground across the resistor R7. Now click on wire, connect the uh, wire from LM741 to resistor R5 and the other end of R5 resistor is connected to uh, the negative terminal of second LM741 and the resistor R6 is connected to the negative terminal of LM741, the positive terminal is connected to R7 and the resistor R7 is connected to ground and the output of LM741 is connected to resistor R6 and the resistor R3 is connected to the output of first LM741. Now right click on resistor R1 and define the resistance as 100k and right click on resistor R2 and define that as 100k. Right click on resistor R3, define that as 100k and right click on resistor R4 and define the resistance value as 100k and click OK. Now right click on resistor R5, define the resistance as 1k and right click on resistor R6, define the resistance as 1k and right click on resistor R7 define the resistance as 1k. Now the entire uh, circuit has been uh, completed. Now we have to extend the uh, wire across the uh, positive and the negative terminal of LM741 and name this as VCC and name this as VEE accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Next, in order to perform the transient analysis, before that let us uh, place the uh, label uh, out and V out across the uh, output of LM741 and across the second output of uh, LM741. Now right click on the voltage source V1, define this as sine wave, define the DC offset as 0, amplitude as, uh, let us say, uh, we will define the amplitude as 1 volt, frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Now right click on the second voltage source and Mm, click on advanced and click on sign define the DC offset as 0 and uh, let us say we will uh, keep the amplitude as uh, 5 volt and frequency as 1 okay so we have defined this uh, particular circuit next we have to do the simulation so let us perform the uh, transient analysis so in order to perform the transient analysis we have to click on edit click on spice analysis and uh, define the transient stop time as 4 milliseconds and place this on the schematic window now run this particular simulation
Now place the probe across the V1 and right click and click on add plot plane and place the probe across the V2. Now we can see the difference again click on add plot plane and place this across the out you can see the difference and now let us say place the probe across the V out so we can see the output of the dif difference amplifier using LM741. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.